Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and today we're going to look at doing some special effects with iMovie 11. Now this is, a, in my opinion, a great upgrade and update uh, to the iLife series. I haven't even had a chance to really play around with iPhoto or GarageBand, but iMovie 11 is pretty much what I do here at uh, T4 Show Videos, and it's a lot of fun to edit movies and create some really cool stuff, and I think iMovie 11 is enabled a lot of general consumers to do that. So we're going to just check out a few effects here. Uh, and I'm going to take a clip. One of my things that I really wanted to try out here and I saw in the demo was the instant replay feature. Now the instant replay feature enables you to do some really cool stuff, but I got some little tricks that I tried uh, before this tutorial that I think you'll be interested in. And let's see here. I'm going to get... Um, a clip here of me doing my kick here. So there's the kick. I'm going to just take the clip of me throwing the kick here. And I'm going to take the cover here. Alright. Now I'm going to drag this up into the timeline here. Now, I don't know if uh, there's an easier way, like if there's anything over to the right here, much like what you do with transitions, text, and things like that. But what you do is you basically highlight the clip that you want. This is the most general thing. Then you go to clip up here in the menu. Then you see you have slow motion, fast forward, instant replay, which is really something I'm looking forward to trying out. You have rewind, jump cut at beat markers, and you also have fade. And of course, uh, special effects, which will flash and hold the last frame, much like uh, something with a picture and a Ken Burns effect. Then you have the other stuff here at the bottom. So let's uh, let's try slow motion. I'll do slow motion 25%. Now, as I do it, you see right there, the whole clip gets uh, slow mode, which you know might not be what you want to do. Now I'm going to just do undo change speed to go step back and also highlight the clip we're just going to go through these real quick uh, i can fast forward up to 20 percent let's try that see how fast it moves i probably never move that fast in my life let's see oh it's already <laughs> it's too quick let's uh slow that down to say i have to undo it undo it go back to the regular clip you can always step back like that fast forward it will go two percent how fast and the audio is two percent faster so that's fast so we're gonna undo the change speed remember that you have to undo that in order to make uh changes back to what you want now here is the instant replay feature you have a 50 percent 25 percent and a 10 percent speed i, I kind of wish they would do real speed ones but i have a little trick and if you watch wrestling they do it a lot where they they mix uh, slow motion and then go to real speed, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that real quick. So here's 50%. So basically, it takes your clip here, you play it. Now what it's gonna do is give a cool little instant replay icon, which I think is is nice, and then goes slow. And you know you kind of don't want the whole thing to go that slow. So I'm gonna take out the instant replay here this is a little bit different you don't have to undo it you just basically delete that clip now here's a cool little thing instead of selecting the whole clip for instant replay what i'm going to do is i want to do the kick so i want to hit the kick here just the kick part okay so i selected that one second of the clip now I'm going to go up here and go to instant replay and do that particular part of the clip at 50%. Now watch what happens there. Now I have this here, instant replay on the kick, then real time, which I think is really cool because that's much like sports. They'll slow-mo the, the particular part of the action that they're willing to highlight and then go to real speed and it gives a really... Uh, in my opinion, a more professional production look than anything. So uh, I didn't get the whole clip that I wanted to. I wanted to get a little bit before that. But like I said, I'm going to play it again just to give you an idea of how cool I really think it is. I, I really do like the instant replay feature. And uh, I know that a lot of people think that stuff like this is a gimmick. 
even the trailer stuff, but I think it just adds to the entertainment of uh, iMovie 11. So let's take a look again. Let's try this. So that's cool. I mean, right there, I, I really like that. And like I said, you can uh, delete the instant replay part. It creates a little space here, but it doesn't create a space that really messes with anything. It just, it's just a point of reference, I guess, that you did something to the clip. So you can always uh, undo undo the delete, undo... Well, you can only go one step back. So let's say you want to do something with this particular part of it. Uh, we have a special effect. Let's see if I can do this clip here and hold the last frame, which will hold the last frame of that particular clip, I think. So let's see. Let's try that. All right, here. And that's the effect of holding it. So it just holds it at the very last frame of that clip. So if I wanted to make that the last part of the clip, see... The clip's very short. Oh, well, actually, I deleted the whole clip. I guess you can only have a minimal amount on that. So, I, But the one thing I really wanted to show you was the instant replay function. The, the instant replay is something that uh, I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of fun out of with their, their kids, especially with their kids playing sports like baseball, soccer, any other sport or anything uh, that they can get instant replays when their when their child really makes a good play so pretty good stuff i i'm going to come up with more i iMovie 11 type tutorials and i'm having a lot of fun using this so if you have any questions feel free to email me at t4show at gmail.com or follow me at michael matta on twitter the buffer now for everybody here at the t4 show thank you and best of luck in all your instant replay endeavors